Good morning from a rather gray day here in the Shields. Um, <clears throat> here we are. You can see it's dry. It was a very wet air when I came down at first. It was very misty wet, which is a very typical kind of uh, Scottish weather pattern, I guess you could say. So, good morning. I am so tired today. Oh, it's just there. I've been here for two hours. Despite that fact, I've been here for two hours. I'm nuts. Um, just, I get in the zone. Um, I've been out a, a late a couple of nights, and so um, I mean, late, not really, but because I go to get up so early. And I uh, was at a benefit due at a place called Mono last night for my friend Rachel, who's going to Tonga to do some really important dance and arts development work with young people. Um, which is fabulous and it was such a great night and I was I didn't get to bed till 11 <laughs> which is way past my bedtime and then um, I, uh, I just lost my train of thought and the night before I was babysitting and again I didn't get to bed till 11 which is like stupidly late for me but um, <laughs> at the minute so, um, yeah, so anyway, but I had the most amazing experiences um, that fit into my theme for today because I think I, I mentioned to you, I know I mentioned to you before, I see the kids from across the way come across and uh, the other the other morning, go, are you a dance artist? Our brother says, that's a dance artist. <laughs> and um, so I was walking down the road yesterday and I hear, dancing lady, dancing lady. And in the schoolyard was the younger one, I think she's about seven. Um, and she just pokes her head through the fence and she said, would you dance for my bunny who died? <laughs> I was like, yes, I will dance for your rabbit who's dead. <sighs> That's totally cool. And I just loved that. And it was funny because she just got it. There was no need. It was like, you know, she obviously had been thinking about it. And it tied into, because the night before, Wednesday night, um, I was babysitting for an eight-year-old girl and she is just fabulous. And I'll say, what do you want to do? She's the one who said, um, I was like, what do you want to do? She's like, well, we could put on our iPods and go dance outside, <laughs> which I just love. And so I went over there. I was like, what do you want to do? She's like, I just got the Glee soundtrack and we can make, we can make dancing. So we had like over an hour of a dance party, which was just freestyle interpretive dancing in the living room, which was like everything from contemporary rolling about on the floor to ballet to hip hop. But she kept saying, Katie, it's not ballet, it's rawr, it's rawr. <laughs> and she's so cute. And, and at times I was copying her. Um, and of course she doesn't even consider the fact that I'm 30 years older than her. And which is so cool, and it's and and it brings to a couple things to, to my mind because I read this really interesting quote yesterday, and I forget who said it, but one of my friends put it on their Facebook page, and it's this thing about youth, and we get the mistake in we try and preserve our youth, thinking that it's um, an external thing, but actually the preservation of youth is the continued expansion in the inner world, wherein we don't get stuck in our ways, and we continue to strive to expand and to grow and. Um, all of that stuff and I really really relate to that and I, I, you, if you actually think about it contextually uh, it makes lots of sense and that's one of the reasons why we just with our dance parties she doesn't even consider the fact that I might not want to do that which of course I do because to her I'm the same and and actually in an obviously I've got many more years of experience of her but it, on an inner level we are we we relate to each other's openness and and it got me thinking about um, education and, and you know it and and how much schooling um, I this right into into words like this idea of classes and 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 learning how it's so old-fashioned in a way Ken Robinson talks about that a lot uh, within the context of why do we only relate from the shoulders up and to the left when there's a whole a whole experience of life and 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 as i've said many times in in nursery it's a multi-sensory experience for kids to learn on lots of different levels and all of a sudden for the next you know 75 85 years of your life that's completely negated and and it's no wonder we're so unhealthy and so old before our time and and ask our kids to be old before their time um, so, yeah, but I'm so tired today, so that's all I have to say. <laughs> I need to take a nap, I think.
Um, lots doing for the weekend and for next week, quite a busy week. So I uh, hope you have a great day. And I did dance with Bunny, which was awesome. So blessings to Bunny Rabbit in the sky. And if you have any wishes, just let me know and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.